Hey, what's up guys? Charlie here with MA Performance. And today we're gonna be talking about some catback exhaust, but not just any. We're gonna be talking about our top five best-selling catback exhaust for the Nissan 370Z. Now the older, well, technically younger brother to the 350Z. This car was designed in 2005 and brought into production from 2008 until 2020, making its run almost twice as long as the 350Z. Now this car is no stranger to the track and has actually been noted to have the ultimate 370Z track car campaign done by Nissan. Now this, where fans were allowed to pull which parts they wanted on their car. Now the first mod that was pulled is also the first mod we're gonna talk about for this platform. Obviously, as we've mentioned, and you've probably guessed it, we're talking about the catback exhaust. Now one thing that a lot of people may not actually know is that an exhaust is not necessarily a guaranteed horsepower number. It's more of a multiplier. And with that being said, how much horsepower will this exhaust add to my car? It's one of the most commonly asked questions our guys on the phones get. If your car is pushing close to factory horsepower numbers, then the gains that you would expect with any of these exhausts is in the five to 10 horsepower range. If you've got more power than you would from the factory, you're gonna see significantly more gains. We're not giving these exhausts in any specific order, so stick around till the end because each of these could be the one for you. Let's go ahead and dive right on into it. All right, you guys, now the first one on the list is gonna be the Tomei Titanium Catback Exhaust. It does come in at weighing only 12 pounds compared to the 54 pound stock exhaust. Of course, it is made of titanium and it's coming in at a price of 981. Now, main takeaways for me are that this one is obviously super lightweight and it's a performance-based exhaust. It's gonna wake up that 370Z. It does get tucked up pretty good, so no worries for you static boys riding low to the ground. Shout out to Dalen. A little bit on the higher priced end, but surely the rasp is not present. So uh, for me, the pros and cons are gonna be that this one has an absolutely phenomenal sound. As with most Tomei products, it's lightweight and it comes with those, you know, classic blue burnt tips that you're looking for from a Tomei titanium exhaust. The only feedback is that it is possibly too loud for a lot of people, but let's jump in and hear how it sounds. Start up, sounds loud. But, I mean, it's a Tomei single exit, so... You know, once it warms up just a touch... Yeah. I mean, this one sounds cool. It's not, again, it sounds just like you'd expect a Tomei exhaust to sound. In the higher up RPM ranges, this one sounds a little bit, um, like it has a bit of a higher note to it. Great sounding exhaust, good tone to it. It's loud. <laughs> All right, you guys, next up on the list is gonna be the Gretti Revolution RS single exit catback exhaust. Now this one is made of a stainless steel piping material and it is coming in at a price of only $821.75. Now takeaways for me are that much like the Tomei, this exhaust being a single exit creates ample weight savings when compared to the stock exhaust. But the difference is that the lower tone that Gretti gives, it's an amazing exhaust note, but it's quieter until you get on it and it has a deep rumbling VQ hits that you all want out of our 370Zs. So pros and cons are that it does, again, have that nice, slow rumbling tone. It's great for uh, daily driving and it's 50% lighter than stock. Now, the only con is that it is a single exit exhaust, but that's not necessarily a con. It's only a con if you're really more keen to the dual exit exhaust. But with all that being said, let's quit fucking around and hear how these things sound, huh? Okay, so this video, they give it to you from the cabin first. Sounds really, really nice. Let's hear it from the outside. Also sounds great. It looks phenomenal. The tip looks really nice. I like the RS race badging that comes off the side. Just a nice classy branding touch to it. Let's hear it kind of take off a little bit here. But when you get on it, it's like you can let the inner child in you at play. The hot boy in you gets out in the higher up RPM ranges and it sounds absolutely phenomenal in my opinion. All 
All right, you guys, the next one on the list is the Agency Power Catback Exhaust with stainless tips. Now, this one is made of stainless steel, as you would expect. Now, this one is coming in at a price of $850. Now, main takeaways for me on this one is that this is gonna be obviously the first dual exhaust on the list. Now, in the 350Z video, we looked at the single exit exhaust from Agency Power. People thought it was a little loud but this exhaust does have more customization than most with the optional silencers. Now, we have been told that this is one of the louder exhausts on the market when they're actually removed. However, it is a super dailyable exhaust when silenced, and this is gonna allow you to be a little bit more discreet while still maintaining a really high quality sound. Now, pros and cons to this one is that, again, in my opinion, the dual exhaust looks absolutely great. Uh, it does have a distinct, deeper sound. Obviously, it comes optional with the silencers, which we've heard are a great benefit. Now, again, as a con, it's potentially a little bit too loud when you do purchase this exhaust without the silencers, but some people actually like that, so it may not actually really be considered a con. We're gonna hear how it sounds. Start up. Sounds a little bit quieter. Um, deeper tone, for sure. You can tell when they rev it up a little bit more aggressively, this one sounds... It sounds, again, like it wakes up in the higher RPM ranges. The video clip that we're watching is definitely the one with the silencers. Um, I could imagine, again, without the silencers, that this would be insanely loud. Yeah, I mean, this one, again, it sounds great. Recommend getting it with the silencers has a good tone to it. All right, guys, next one up on the list is the NVIDIA Gemini stainless steel catback exhaust. This one does come in at a weight of 25 and a half pounds, made of a stainless steel piping material. And of course, it's coming in at a price of 995.14. A little bit higher than the other ones, but still not bad. Takeaways for me are gonna be that this exhaust is more of a performance-oriented, high-quality OEM replacement. Now, NVIDIA, known to most as a really high-quality aftermarket exhaust manufacturer, and this exhaust is obviously no exception. It is very easy to install, it is much quieter, and closer to a stock sound at idle or in that lower RPM range. However, in the higher RPMs, it's gonna be a little bit more conservative than the other exhausts on the list. Now, pros and cons for me specifically are gonna be, one, it has a great build quality to it. It is made of this stainless steel material, and it has has that stainless steel X-Pipe. It also has blue burnt tips, which again, I'm sort of a fan of, I like those. Cons, it's a little bit quieter. But again, for some, it being a little bit quieter on a stereotypically loud car may not be necessarily a bad thing. So let's jump in and formulate our own free thinking opinions. Yep, there it is. The NVIDIA Catback Cold Start Signature Sound. But it does sound good. It's not super loud at startup. It sounds very OEM plus, if you will. It does sound great. Like the exhaust note itself is really nice for me. So up to, I mean, like, it sounds like it really opens up once you get above that 5,000 RPM mark. This car sounds so nice. These exhausts are really going to amplify the noises that the engine's just naturally making. Um, and for me, they sound absolutely great. All right, you guys, so next up on the list is the Engine True Dual Stainless Steel Catback Exhaust. Now, this one, of course, is made of 304 stainless steel material. However, it does have titanium tips, which is cool. It is a pretty expensive exhaust coming in at 1492.68. Key takeaways again, obviously, the highest priced one on the list without a question. 
Um, but definitely don't let that steer you away uh, from the handcrafted quality that this one actually has because it is built really well. Now, just like the rest of the exhaust, it is a direct bolt up with no cutting or welding obviously required. Now, uh, with this one reportedly a roughly 15 horsepower gain while uh, delivering a clean and crisp deep sound, which is kind of what you're looking for. Pros and cons, again, blue burnt tips. That's a plus for me. It's got the built-in resonated X-pipe. It does give it a, a unique note. And again, it has the four and a half inch titanium tips. Everybody likes some titanium tips. Now, the only cons for this one really are that it is coming in at a, just about 1500 bucks. So if you're shopping for a budget friendly catback exhaust for your 370Z, this may not be the one for you. But with that being said, let's go ahead and jump in and see how it sounds. I really like the way that the tips on this one look, like the blue burnt rolled single wall tips just look really nice to me. It looks like the mufflers look really well from underneath the car. I mean, it just has a good look to it. So yeah, I mean, this InGen one, it sounds absolutely great in my opinion. It sounds very mature in my opinion. Again, I've referred to exhausts as a aged cheddar when it comes to their maturity. The volume sounds very appropriate and the lower RPM ranges, as you get up into the higher RPM ranges, it really lets the car speak for itself and it sounds absolutely phenomenal. See you guys in the next video. Make sure that you like and subscribe if you're interested in getting any of these catbacks for your car. Check out the links down in the description. I'll take you over to our site where we've got all the parts you're looking for to modify your 370Z or really any performance car for that matter. Otherwise, give us a big thumbs up if you like this video. YouTube tells us that that's how they know they like our videos. Big surprise there, the thumbs up does that. So anyways, we'll see you guys in the next video. I've got one more of these videos to do for you guys, but otherwise we'll see you in the next one. Peace.